What's up, replay viewers? Let's see who tunes on in. April, first one in the room, and Julie B, welcome. Good to see you, Ramona in North Carolina, and the ABX girl, welcome. Good to see you, Dinden and Lee, welcome. Good to see you, Oleg, welcome. And good to see you, Diana Lee, welcome. Good to see you there, Leela. Good to see you there, Sally Sipico. Good to see you, Michelle, out there in Oregon. Good to see you, Nadine Smith. Good to see you, Phyllis2284. Uh, good to see you, Robert T. And JC Droid with a $2 super chat. JC Droid, thank you so much for the very generous $2 super chat. Hope you're feeling better. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. Good to see you, Robert T. Good to see you, Michelle King. Good to see you, Ben Free. Good to see you, Beach Bum. Good to see you, Arjan. Good to see you, Paul Bissett from Down Under. Good to see you, Paul. Good day. Uh, good to see you, Jay Chulo and Aloha Rainier. Good to see everybody, people. Let's. Uh, we got a lot of we got a lot of distance to cover today, so let's start. Let, let's just do it. Y'all get to see a big chunk of 86th Street today because why not? <laughs> Had to check on the homestead here in Bay Ridge. And now I'm going to head back home to Coney. But I figured we, we usually do the waterfront, but we've never done 86th Street all the way down. So let's do 86th Street all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way down today. I'm feeling better, Arjun. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling better. I hope JC, I hope you're feeling better. If anyone's sick out there. Not feeling the best. I hope you're feeling better. I hope this live stream's a little bit of a distraction. Ooh, it's a Easter. I like this Easter dress. Yes. Good to see you there, John Coppola. Welcome. Finally, no rain. The sun was out a moment ago. So I'm hoping for the sun to come back out, but it is getting windy. Strawberry Fields, good to see you. Dazza Pants and Figments, welcome. Good to see everybody. Oh, going down the sea boot today. Yeah, going down the sea boot. Whoa. Go bring my girl down to see boo. <laughs> all the all the quintessential Bay Ridge places are all in this stretch right here. <laughs> well good to see everybody. Hope everyone's doing well. Good to see Activity 79. Welcome. <coughs> ah. Yes. Still got a little bit of a cough, but. Doing a lot better, so. Yeah, we're in Bay Ridge, Dindin. We're starting out from uh, Panini Rustico. Picked up the Duchess a, a Nutella crepe, because that's what she deserves. So, <laughs> picked up a Nutella crepe, and now I'm gonna take it all the way back home. A couple of true Bay Ridge institutions across the street, like Kettle, back, Kettle Black, Brooklyn Roots, if you never had Italian food, Brooklyn Roots is the place for you. And then Hobra, right next door, if you want some really good drinks and tacos. We're in Bay Ridge, Jim, going down to Coney. Good to see you. Out of the hospital and back in rehab, that's good. As long as you stay out of the hospital, it's a good thing. I'm happy your aunt and her husband has survived and recovered. And yeah, starting out at 3rd, 3rd Avenue and 86th Street. And we're going to go all the way down. You're going to see a lot of 86th Street today. Good to see you, Sean, of Bagels and Walks. Everyone follow Bagels and Walks. A great content creator from the Upper East Side. Yes, indeed, Diana. Yes, indeed. Yeah, lots of restaurants here in Bay Ridge, especially along 3rd Avenue. Some, I, I would go out on a limb and say some of the best restaurants in New York City are here along 3rd Avenue. But now, we're going to go down 86th Street. Here we go. Easy Rider's never been here before. Well, come on out to Bay Ridge. It's a nice neighborhood. Starting out at the fairly quiet third and, between 3rd and 4th Avenue here. Fairly quiet here, mostly residential. Then we're going to go into the commercial strip. And I just realized school let out, so how many kids are thinking we're going to be on the TikTok? Let's find out. Good to see you, Eve, Mike, Mike, welcome. Good to see you, Daniel in Vermont. We're back on the horse again. We're back at it. You'll be staying on Fourth. Yeah, you'll be staying not that far at Hotel Gregory. 
which is a few blocks to the left from here, just to the north from here. You're gonna be right by a place called Cafe Cafe. Din Din and Cafe Cafe is really good. And why is that young man walking around with a stick? Who knows? <laughs> good to see you, Dave JR, out there in Dartmouth, United Kingdom. Giddy up, baby. That's right. Back on the horse again. We'll be doing around 14,000 steps today. So, a nice walk today, about, oh, about five miles. We'll walk today. I don't know if I'm gonna go down Shell Road or not. We'll see when we get there. I don't know if I'm gonna turn off at, at uh, Stillwell or continue on all the way down to Shell Road. Good to see you, Alfred Clues in Canada. Rouge Jones, good to see you. Thanks to all the channel members. This broadcast is brought to us in stunning 1080p. Suffice the signal holds. So, should be at it for about three hours today. Oh my God, Sean took a beautiful picture of a cardinal in Central Park. That was a gorgeous picture of a cardinal. How great was that during Flacco's uh, memorial, all the birds came around to watch. That was so cool. Buenvenue Nebul, Buenvenue, everyone follow Nebul. A great live streamer from the south of France on the Bay of Saint-Tropez. Give him a follow. See France. <laughs> he usually goes live on Sundays. All right, so now we're getting to the, this is 4th Avenue, right here. Dindin staying at Ho Hotel Gregory, which is about three blocks that way. But this is 4th Avenue, we're crossing. And we're going to be going east, if you want to follow along on a map. But this is the main commercial, commercial strip here in Bay Ridge. 86th Street between like 4th and Fort Hamilton Parkway. And if you guys want to know where I get my glasses from, I get my glasses from this place right here, Cohen's Fashion Optical. I have been getting my glasses here since I was a kid. A young kid. But this is the main shopping strip here. I remember when this McDonald's was brand new. It was a big deal when this McDonald's opened in the 90s. It was a big deal. Good to see you, RJ, out there in Colorado. Welcome. This used to be a movie theater a long time ago. And then when I was a kid, this used to be where the Wiz was. Nobody beats the Wiz electronic store. I could walk to Coney in that time. It's probably about two and a half hours, April. But yeah, about, about three hours. No more Century 21. Yeah, this is Century 21 right here. As you see, the stores are still all closed. We were hoping for a Trader Joe's. From what I heard, that fell through. So I don't know what they're going to do with this. It's a rather large storefront. This Century 21 opened up in the 19 in the 1960s. Oh, sure. Sure. Uh, like to yes. My Wait, what are you, what are you talking about? Oh, picking up girls on the street. I'm married. Oh, okay. Please enjoy the rest of your life. I didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah. Yeah, no problem. No problem. That, that's very rude towards I women. You know, it's very sexist. Oh, you're right. I've, I've met some feminists, though, on the street. Okay, well, I'm not a feminist either. Oh, please, please enjoy your rest of your life. Okay. Bring you down. Have a good life. What kind of fucking bullshit is that? Anyway, today's face brought to us by Schaefer Beer. <laughs> today's face brought to us by Schaefer Beer. Yes, 86th Street can take us all the way down to Coney Island. And you're going to see that. Very weird, very weird. 
being a wingman doesn't work like that. And if he keeps up that kind of attitude, he'll never get laid. I was gonna, I was gonna really have some fun with that, so. Nothing like Bay Ridge crazies, right? This is the parking garage. And then that used to be a Woolworths a long time ago. So what did he say? He wanted me to be his wingman. He wanted me to pick, be his wingman to help him pick up girls. I think he thinks like, like I'm on TikTok doing like that toxic kind of content. <coughs> and he didn't, I should have said he didn't bring me down. If anything, you fired me up. <laughs> These are the people in my neighborhood, maybe. I don't know. Anyway, here's another, what used to be a movie theater. It was right here. Good to see you, Carmen Duke. I appreciate that, out there in Guyana. Welcome. Only limited to Brooklyn now. Yeah. It sounds predatory, I know, Julie. Like, like I said, it's very sexist to talk like that, and I don't appreciate that, and I'm not a, I wouldn't consider myself a feminist. Even though I think uh, women should have equity, but that's a whole other can of worms that I'm not gonna open up. <laughs> anyway, exactly, I'm, I'm interested in women, not girls. Yeah, it's the old Models photos. Used to be a Models there. Not anymore. Good to see you, Miss Cecilia. Welcome. I'm feeling a lot better, Mary Lily. Feeling a lot better. I'm married. I got the best girl ever. She makes me chicken noodle soup and looks totally hot and sexy every day. <laughs> Good to see you, CM. Welcome. All right, Fort Hamilton Parkway. This is Fort Hamilton Parkway. And that has always been a furniture store across the street. And then we have the PC Richards. And I think we're going to see another PC Richards when we get to Benson Hoist. So we're starting in Bay Ridge. We're about to cross into Diker Heights. And then we'll go into Benson Hoist. Gotta love Brooklyn. Except for crazy people like that. He wants me to be his wingman. <laughs> Just looking to get over that. Just because I'm live streaming anyway. I, exactly, I don't have a girl, I have a woman. I hope everyone's having a blessed day. Yes, indeed. We got a really cool mural coming up. We got a couple of really cool murals coming up. So now this is uh, the approach ramp to the Verrazano Bridge. And once we cross over the highway here, we're officially in Diker Heights. But Ibrahim, good to see you. Check out this mural. All the famous people of Bay Ridge right here. Mary Lily with a $10 super chat. Mary, <coughs> thank you so much for the very generous $10 super chat. Thank you so much for running today's $5 club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $10 super chat. Thanks for sponsoring the live stream, Mary. Good to see you, Dwayne, out there in Alberta, Canada. Good to see you, Neil and Flatbush. All the famous people of Bay Ridge. So we have Tony Monero and Stephanie, Pee Wee Reese, uh, the King Brothers. This is the owner of, of Noreen or D Doreen. It's a really cool, really good uh, uh, Arabic uh, restaurant. And then we have, of course, uh, the, the Rifleman, which I'm blanking on his name. He, he is supposedly from Bay Ridge. And the person who did this, his name is Caves, Mr. Caves of of the uh, of the band, um, oh my God! They did this step by step and day by day. Spread love because it's the Brooklyn way. Um, the Lords of Brooklyn, the Lords of Brooklyn. 
Mr. Caves did this right here. It's a pretty cool mural. Don't you love this mural? So cool. But these are all like the prominent people. And here's Mr. Caves right there. But all the prominent people of Bay Ridge. Spread love because it's a Brooklyn way. Yes. This is where my express bus comes off the highway and makes its way down to Coney. <laughs> Chuck Con Thank you so much there, Susan. Chuck Connors. Neil, Al, Chuck Connors. Uh, a baseball player, and he's originally from Bay Ridge, even though some people say he's from, like, he's from uh, Sunset Park. Who knows? Chuck Connors. Chuck Connors. There you go, people. Chuck Connors. Brad Pitless. Welcome. All right, let's, let's cross the highway here. The highway that was built here in 19, 1960. They had to remove some 10,000 people in this right-of-way here. And the Verrazano Bridge is right down over there. Uh, Dave C, welcome. Once we cross the highway, we are officially in Diker Heights. Feels good getting back on the mend again, walking again. And then we have this really cool American flag right here. American flag mural. Welcome to Diker Heights. The very controversial hotel is right across the street here. It's a ho so due to some recent changes in zoning, they upzoned this area here. This used to be a used car lot. Now it's a avid hotel. And then right across the street, you have a new public school. Didn't you love visiting the Diker Heights lights there? Me too. Nice and gray here. For now, let's see if the sun comes out. Good to see you, Darlene. Welcome. And before anyone says it, no, this is not a migrant hotel. It's a regular hotel. But then we got a rather large school here. This is a high traffic area here, so who knows how the traffic's going to be. But for all you old school Brooklynites, this is where the Wetsons used to be. There used to be a fast food place called Wetsons. And then eventually it will become the Nathans that most of us know. But right there is now we have a school. So no more, no more Nathans after the lights in Diker Heights. The lights are not still up, John. Was Gil Hodges born in Indiana? There you go. <laughs> remember, do, I don't remember the Mitchells, the Mitchells drive-in. No, I do not. That's before my time. The Mitchell's drive-in is before my time. Coming up to 7th Avenue. Oh, Bat lady, good to see you. Happy I'm making your day. This is 7th Avenue we're crossing. And then across the street is the Diker Beach Golf Course. 7th Avenue, right there. And we're going to stay on this side of the street because uh, this is where the lights in Diker Heights are. And I think that we got some Easter. There are a couple of Easter displays along the street here. Uh, April says, yeah, and that's a common question now about hotels. It is, yeah, unfortunately it is. Yeah, can we hit 16K by St. Patrick's Day? That'll be great. Good to see you, Liz. Aloha. Was Scott Ian born in the neighborhood? I don't know, Dwayne. I don't know who Scott Ian is. Good to see you, Deb, out there in London. Welcome. I'm doing good, John. I'm doing good. This is, I think we've jumped avenues. To 10th Avenue. This is 10th Avenue. We just jumped a couple of avenues here.
Yes, the 64th, the 64th precinct used to be on 86th Street and 5th Avenue. And then before the police precinct was there, was there, there was supposedly like a pond there. Now you have that big parking structure. See, now we have back to residential homes now across the street from the golf course. The Diker Beach Golf Course used to be a regular park with from what I heard, beautiful tidal inlets. And uh, in the 50s, they turned it into a golf course because in the 50s, there was some craze about public golf courses. Are you craving a bagel? <laughs> the bagels are good, Julie B. The bagels are good. Good to see a Memzatobe. I'm doing a lot better Memzatobe. Appreciate it. Got to get my steps in today. My body is craving a nice long walk today. Yeah, this is the area for the lights in Diker Heights. This is the neighborhood. When we get to 12th Avenue, 11th and 12th Avenues, that's like the main, the main, main area. But really starting at 10th Avenue, the lights in the Heights begin. And like I say, you could literally, literally be walking this neighborhood for like five hours. You still won't see everything. <coughs> you still won't see everything. Sorry, headphone viewers. I might cough from time to time. Still getting over being sick, so. But I'm feeling a lot better. And can we get to, can we get to 200 likes? That'll be fantastic. That would be fantastic if we could get to 200 likes. I want to bet. I want to bat 85% on the like ratio. I want to do Chuck Connors proud. All right, this. We actually have. This is very interesting. I never, I never noticed this before. This is 11th Avenue. And we have some of the signage for the companies that decorate the homes. Here's some of the signage. Look at that. Two of the companies that decorate the homes. But Darlene W. Gifting 10 memberships of Dutch Miles Plus. Darlene W. Thank you so much for gifting 10 memberships to Dutch Moz Plus. If you were gifted a membership, thank Darlene. Thank you, thank you so much, Darlene, for gifting 10 big memberships to Dutch Moz Plus. Enjoy the custom emojis. <coughs> and thank you so much there, Darlene, for sponsoring the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much there, Darlene. Darlene, that graphics for you, my friend. That graphic is there for you. Thanks for gifting those 10 memberships to Dutch Moz Plus. Happy Thursday there, Donald Dove. Happy Thursday and all the days. Darlene being extremely generous. What a nice thing to do. Yes, indeed. Uh, the Duchess is not on my arm today. No, she's not on my arm today. She's, she is shopping with mom. We might actually run into them on 86th Street later on. <laughs> we might run into them further down. 86. As so we are still in Diker Heights, approaching 12th Avenue, the main avenue for the lights in Diker Heights. The main avenue coming up. It's nice not having to wear a winter jacket. <laughs> Thank you so much, Darlene. Is it your old stomping ground bat lady? Down here in Diker Heights. 
Did you, did you cruise 86th Street? That was the thing to do back in the day, was to get in a fancy car and cruise 86th Street. Good to see a Viking 180 out there in Liverpool. Now, I love the look of these buildings right here. I mean, this is so old school Brooklyn right here. I just love how these Brook I love how these buildings look. Good to see you watching out there. Dinah watching out there in Dublin, Ireland. Shout out to your family out there in Queens. Good to see you there. Stephanie Gray, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And William out here in Brooklyn, welcome. Where was the 19th hole? I have no idea, e-bike Mike. I have no, I have no idea where the 19th hole is. Is that like a bar? That might be a bar from back in the day. Look at this, I love the look of these buildings. I love the look of these buildings right here. This looks so cool. Well, welcome everyone coming on in. Checking on in. Still across the street from Diker Heights. Uh, Diker Beach Golf Course. There you go, 86 and 14th was the 19th hole. We're coming up to that. We're doing well. Duchess is not with me today, but she's doing well. Yeah, it was a bar, but no more, okay. Yeah, I, th I vaguely remember that. I remember, well, I haven't been there. It was before my time, but I heard more of Crazy Country Club over on 7th Avenue. The original location of Crazy Country Club was right by the golf course. And then when Victory Memorial Hospital expanded, they had to move to their final location up on like 65th Street. So I remember more Crazy Country Club. Good to see you, John Burke, welcome. Deborah, good to see you. Welcome, welcome, welcome. There's my express bus right there. The X28. I'll be taking that Saturday morning. Look at these houses here though. Some of these homes along this stretch here are just so nice. I mean, I don't know how it is with the traffic on 86th Street here, but I mean you do have the you do have the golf course right across the street. But Stephen, uh, Stephen Doyle, I'm doing great. Good to see you. Warm beer, lousy food. That's the crazy country club. Yes, indeed. Good to see you, Jennifer. Welcome. And John Nicholson, welcome. Warm beer, lousy food. Had a sleep study at Victor Memorial. <laughs> nice. A couple of times I got sick, I went to Victor Memorial Hospital. Now, it's, it's a hospital again. It's like an urgent care place now. Now run by uh, SUNY Downstate. Coming up to 13th Avenue. Angela Joy is good to see you. Used to live around here. Nice. Nice. Here is the Knights of Columbus building. Robertson Lopes, good to see you. This lady is so into her phone conversation. That lady is, wow, your kids, all your kids were born in victory. Wow, that's wild. Here is the Knights of Columbus, keeping the Christ in Christmas, as the sign says. And they usually have a big Christmas display here. We usually end our walks during Christmas time here because this is where they sell all the, the wreaths and whatnot. But this is what it looks like in the non-Christmas days. And here's another sign from one of the home decorators. They highly recommend Demiglio. Used to have dance. I think they still do have dances here, Bat Lady, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> yeah, used to have dances there at the Knights of Columbus. Went to a bat mitzvah there at the Country Club Golf Course. Nice. 
So now we are approaching 14th Avenue. Once we cross 14th Avenue, we'll be in a commercial strip again. A little bit later on, when we get underneath the D train, lots of movie history is coming up. I mean, we're gonna see the filming locations for Saturday Night Fever, John Wick, and uh, the French Connection are all coming up. There is a movie in production by writer, actor, director, screenwriter William DeMeo. He's supposed to be producing a movie about cruising 86th Street. Has a commercial for it or a trailer for it. Never released a film and that's been like five years now. <laughs> Good to see you there, Adriana. Welcome. Good to see everybody, people. And Ian, welcome. All right, this is 14th Avenue. Liz, we're gonna walk right where Tony Monero walked in Saturday Night Fever when he got the two slices. Yes, Odyssey Disco. The Odyssey Disco was what? That was on 65th Street if I'm not mistaken. Uh, E-Bike Mike's parents had their wedding reception at the Knights of Columbus back in 1951. <laughs> 1951, my God, I love this. Look, as everybody runs the red lights, uh, three cars run the red light. <laughs> Good to see a Land Rover, 1965. Welcome. So now we're back on a commercial strip. That's a really good pizzeria. That's a really good bagel shop. And the Optimo is okay too. That's a candy store. I've been to a couple of wakes here at Scarpacci. Scarpacci. No, I'm mispronouncing it. Good to see you, Les No Set. Welcome. Yep, that's what they feel Saturday Night, Saturday Night Fever. Yep. We're going to see the opening scene for Saturday Night Fever. Good to see you, Jack Spencer. Welcome. Oh, Hole 19 was where the, the ophthalmology, st ophthalmology store is. Nice. The optician is. Nice. So now we're passing the Bay Streets. The Bay Streets will be pretty much to our right hand side and to our left hand side are the avenues so we got 15th avenue coming up next from what i have gathered the bay streets were developed in the early 1900s basically a big back then it will be considered con considered a suburban neighborhood Used to get used to get egg creams over there at the Optimo. Nice. Yeah, no more Lenny's. Really sad e bike, Mike. Yeah, no more Lenny's. Robinson, absolutely. Brooklyn Parks are the most beautiful. Some more restaurants across the street. There's a great taco place right over there. Where me and the Duchess went after uh, Viva Mexico. Really nice taco place. We had tacos there after, after we watched the lights in Diker Heights. And then the Outback Steakhouse that I've literally been to twice. Is it the only Outback? <coughs> Isn't there an Outback Steakhouse up in the Gateway Center Mall? Out by the garbage dump? Anyway, I've literally been here twice. My whole life. <laughs> well, we got lots of little stores across the way here. Did they remove the Lenny sign? Din Din, the Lenny sign was rescued. And they're opening, I believe it's going to be later on this year, 
We will be there for this. There is a Brooklyn History Museum being put together by Mr. Caves of, of the Lords of Brooklyn. And one of, the, one of the artifacts they have is the original Lenny's Pizzeria sign. So we will be going there for that. It's, I'm very excited. It's a whole Brooklyn culture museum that's coming, coming together in Industry City. You grew up in Star City near the dump. Nice. Like the Blooming Onions and Cheese Fries? They're all right. Really good pizza place right over here. All right, it's called uh, La Villa. La Villa Pizzeria. Wood-fired pizza since 1982. I love this pizza place. They have really good rice balls in there. Really good rice balls in there. And a bunch of other stuff, but the pizza is good too. Uh, they could get ticketed here in Brooklyn, Adriana. They could get ticketed, but they don't really enforce it. Jeremy Nijen, welcome. There you go, Fountain Avenue. Fountain Avenue. This is Bay 11th Street. Down this block was that really cool a Christmas tree, the, 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 the green Christmas tree. It's right down there. Extra Chris, welcome. Good Italian food here, absolutely. La Villa is like one of the legit, like a low-key, really good pizza place. Super low-key. If you didn't know it was good, you wouldn't know it was good. Here is the Chevrolet dealership that has literally been here forever. There's actually a really cool picture of this Chevrolet dealership when it was brand new on a website called Shorpy. And it was like this cool 50s styling kind of building. They got, unfortunately, got rid of that original building. But it used to look so cool back in the day. Uh, Joe's of Avenue U has the best rice bowl. Absolutely. I haven't been to Joe's of Avenue U in the longest. Sixteenth Avenue. Making good time here. Only forty minutes in. Sixteenth Avenue. Right up the block. One block over is a cemetery that was opened in 1654 by the Dutch. Peter Stuyvesant himself opened up that that cemetery. Cemetery is still there. But it dates back to 1654, so it's older than the nation. We are now officially, even though we're, we're kind of, well, now we're, as we cross 16th Avenue, we technically are going into Bensonhurst, but we are in the town of New Utrecht. New Utrecht. Good to see Elisa, UK girl. You love this area of Brooklyn? Me too. Good to see you, Elisa. Where's Panzeras? I have no idea, Extra Chris. That's a question for Google. Well, we have we have disagreements here with the driving. Ah, <laughs> oh, look at this. Very sad. It's still a restaurant, at least. It's a buffet. This is now the Golden Palace, but this used to be Vegas Diner. Good to see you, Sandra. How many times did a blue-haired Dutch Maz drunk off his ass or maybe tripping on some shrooms uh, ate in here? <laughs> at four in the morning was right here I ate at Vegas Diner many a times but some of my fondest memories of being a, a teenager in my early 20s all messed up on stuff <laughs> was in Vegas well you want to go Vegas we go Vegas I go Vegas I'll get some onion rings onion rings and a fountain soda <laughs> yeah, Gravesend has a lot of history too. Yes, indeed. Lady Deborah Moody was the first. Uh, she's, she, she's like the first woman who founded a town here in Brooklyn. And that's Gravesend. Good to see you, Wilbs, driving a normal line. This is the best 
liquor outlet store ever. <laughs> they have really good prices here. Go inside Pizza Den, tell him Jimmy said hello, you got it. <laughs> so now this is a nice little interesting mix here. You know, some small restaurants. You know, it's like tile place right here. Then we have some residential buildings. There's very few diners left. Yes, there is. There's very few diners left. Luckily in Bay Ridge, we still have the bridge view. But yeah, all the old school diners are all disappearing across the city, which is really sad. Coming up to 17th Avenue. So the town of New Utrecht would be one block over to our left-hand side. And the town of Gravesend, which was British, that's over by Avenue U, near McDonald Avenue. Good to see you there, NYC girl, welcome. And Griff in Vancouver, Canada, welcome. 17th Avenue, right here. Now we're coming into the neighborhood where all my, my old friends in high school era, this is where we hung out, was this, this area right here. Will I run into somebody I haven't seen in years? Find out. Let's stay tuned and find out. Can anyone buy these diners and keep them open as a part of a chain? Uh, Neville, that sometimes happens with some of them. They're turned into like KFCs or McDonald's sometimes. But for the most part, the real estate that the diners occupy usually becomes very valuable and they redevelop it into apartments. Usually a lot of these old school diners have like parking lots. So they just develop the whole, the whole lot. You missed the Del Rio, me too. The Duchess misses the Del Rio. That was the Duchess's uh, diner of choice. Yeah, I miss all these, all these old school diners. Coming up to a library. Ooh, it's my, it's my, it's my illegal Chinese scooter. And happy birthday, Will, the Strava the Northern Line. Hey, it's my scooter. Hey. But happy birthday, Wilbs. Yeah, Del Rio still an empty lot. Really sad with the Del Rio. They shut it down and it's still an empty lot. That's like tragic. Good to see you, John Lohr. Right there in Staten Island. We're doing 86th Street today, the B1 route we're doing. <coughs> Still getting over a cough, everybody. All right. Time to talk about movies. And we're coming up to our first movie location, 18th Avenue, 86th Street, the Pizza Den. This is where Bobby Lupo got shot in the movie, in the, in the movie Out for Justice. And Benjamin with a $2 super chat. Benjamin, thank you so much for the very generous $2 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $2 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $2 super chat. Thanks for sponsoring the live stream there, Benjamin. Much appreciated. But right here, it's the way Bobby Lupo, he used the pizza den. They think Jerry Orbach was in that movie. <laughs> I still can't get over that Jerry Orbach was in that movie. Good to see you, Karen Max, welcome. Yeah, French, French Connection territory, right down the block here. But our first 
movie filming location is right here at Pizza Den. Out for Justice, starring Steven Seagal. This is where Bobby Lupo gets shot. <laughs> and then supposedly they take, they, they rob a car and they say it's 65th Street and it's like the other side of the block. <laughs> anyway. And then we're going to have one of these spectacular, used to be a spectacular movie palace coming up. The Lowe's Oriental is coming up on our right-hand side here across the street. I saw many films in the Lowe's Oriental. I got to see uh, the Ninja Turtles, Secret of the Ooze, <laughs> and uh, Forrest Gump, True Lies. I saw them all right there, and many other movies right there but that's right Popeye Doyle Detective Popeye Doyle right here this is where in the movie The French Connection there is a there's a, a, a car chase train chase scene where the detective is chasing a subway train above and he's trying to keep up with the train and what happens is right here Right here, this is where the car hits a baby carriage. Right here where that man is driving. Right there. This is where that French connection scene happens. And they, uh, they're, they're coming up from this direction. So we're actually going the opposite direction of the car chase scene. But Jack Spencer with a $3 super chat. Jack Spencer. Thank you so much for the very generous $3 Super Chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $3 Club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $3 Super Chat. Good to see you, Karen J. McLean. But Jack, thanks for sponsoring today's live stream. Uh, is the Oriental Manor still here? I know the building of the Oriental Manor still exists, but I don't know if the Oriental Manor is still, is still open anymore. Esteban Fernandez, good to see you. And a lot of these buildings you see here, a lot of the storefronts here are about 100 years old. So this neighborhood was developed in the, in the 19-teens, 1890s, this area was developed. So a lot of these buildings that you see here, thick 19-teens. But now we're underneath the train tracks. This is the D train we're gonna be now walking underneath. <laughs> Good to see you, MC Dirty Jersey. Welcome. Once we cross ninth, once we cross 19th Avenue, we will now be in Saturday Night Fever territory, but also starting at 19th Avenue. This is where they filmed the horse riding scene in John Wick. John Wick, played by. Uh, What's his name there? Uh, Keanu Reeves. He rides a horse straight down this street here. Yes, Gene Hackman's in, in the French Connection movie. Yes, indeed. But right here, this is where, this is where Keanu Reeves rides a horse. He rides in this direction here. So we're going with the horse riding scene. It was literally filmed right here. That horse ride, and I think they just used this little stretch of the block over and over and over again. But this right here, this is John Wick. And the old bank is still here. Redoing the sign it looks like. But now, right here on this sidewalk, this is where Tony Monero, John Travolta, Saturday Night Fever. It, this was filmed right here. So now we're walking where he walks with the paint can at the beginning of the movie. And actually the opening shot with his legs and the paint can was filmed right here. But John Wick, the filming for John Wick was in this direction right here. So right here where John Wick rode a horse down, 18, down 86th Street here, Tony Monero walks right here. It's insane. 
and, and also the car chase scene in French Connection. So, so like three blockbuster movies all filmed amongst many others. There's a couple other movies that were filmed here, but those are probably the three most popular films all filmed right here. Let's see what Lenny's looks like. Lenny's Pizzeria, where Tony Monero gets just two. I'll take just two. He has just two slices. Who just smells nice? I should grab my, my wife some flowers right now. <laughs> you miss John's too? Oh, yeah. And Virginia Wedlake with a $5 super chat. Virginia, thank you so much for the very generous $5 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 super chat. Thanks for sponsoring today's live stream there, Virginia. Much appreciated. Is this the area? Yes, it is. this is the area where we broadcasted the Cadillac Club. It was right here. It was right here. <coughs> Let's see here. Where is... Oh, this is... Oh, Lenny's is really gone. So, the old card shop. The sign is still here. But this is Lenny's. Beth Israel Home Care Incorporated. This is Lenny's Pizza. Right here. That's Lenny's. Right there. Looks nothing like it. Looks nothing like Lenny's anymore. Hey, good to see you, man. Good to see you, CM. Good to How see you. Doing, you. doing good, man. Taking a cruise here. Yeah, a little cruise down 86 today. Have a, Have a good one, sir. <laughs> Look at that. CM, everybody. That's <laughs> doesn't strike me as a great location for movies. Well, Dennis, they filmed three of them here, if not more. I mean, little films like French Connection, Saturday Night Fever, and John Wick were filmed here. So this is a great location for filming movies because it's very, gr it's New York. It's really gritty. It's old school. <laughs> yes, the Bonanno family used to call come down here. Isn't that sad? Oh, I love watching, I love saying hello to viewers. Nice thing, CM. Down here. Down here on 86th Street under the L. 20th Avenue we're crossing now. And I think we have a mural coming up where, where the old... Uh... It did smell better when Lenny's was there. Is there a plaque commemorating Saturday Night Fever? No, there's not. There's not a plaque commemorating Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> exactly. Great filming location. Very atmospheric. I mean, you can't, you can't, like, create places like this. Oh, I see the mural that the Duchess was telling me about. We got to cross the street. Good to see you, CM. Good to see you, Tony. <laughs> it was great seeing your husband there. Great seeing Tony out here on the avenue. <laughs> Oh, we got a nice mural across the street here. Wow. The Duchess doesn't, you know, she knows what's up. She knows what I like. She's like, there's a nice mural over on, on Bay 25th. We got to see this mural. Yeah, the chock full of nuts. Are we bringing back memories for everybody? All right, Bay 25th, check out this mural. Oh, this is so cool. Hello, Brooklyn, Bensonhurst. Oh, this is so today Brooklyn. This is the neighborhood now. We got the Mexican hat. We have the bubble tea panda. We have the Jaritos drinks. We have the, um, the dumpling. And then the Chinese lantern with dragon. Good to see you, Cliff. Cliff, we're in the neighborhood, Cliff. I love this. This is so cool. By Chuck G. Good to see you, CB Earth Day. And good to see you, Cliff. I love it. This is Brooklyn in a nutshell. This is so Brooklyn in a nutshell. 
Got the little tiger, the bubble tea, the jaritos, the, the dumpling, the dragon with the lantern. I love it. I freaking love it. That's so cool. That's cool. The Duchess knows how to find all the cool stuff. She really does. She finds all the cool stuff. She's forever finding the cool stuff. That's what I love to show you guys. The Duchess has the best taste. So now, as you see, we have, a, you know, mostly Chinese stores here, but then you get some, you know, some national outlets like there's a Foot Locker and a, a Ponce Bank and it's a Chipotle coming up. Love the cherry blossoms on there. Wasn't that cool? But I just love how you get this nice mix of stores here. Yes, indeed. 25th Avenue, Corey. Williamsburg Savings Bank. We're passing Bay 26th Street right now. And coming up to, uh, what was that there, 21st Avenue. There used to be a great candy store right across the street from here. And I can't remember the name of it, but there was a great candy store right across the way. Is Where's Rainbow? I don't know, Julie. I think there's a rainbow coming up down there. There's a rainbow next to the AT&T store. So here comes the bank at 21st Avenue. It's that TD bank. It might be closed. Might not be a bank anymore. It might be empty. I just love the mix, though. The mix of the the mix of stores down here is just so nice. I mean, this is a proper shopping street. Somebody mentioned the, the rainbow. Rainbow's right across the street. Ash, gosh, bagosh. And AT&T. Consistently the worst cell phone provider in New York. Ooh, they got LED lighting. Ooh. I'm in the market for LED lights. <laughs> oh my God, the GameStop is still open. I thought they were closing all these GameStops. I guess not. <coughs> oh, this is fun. You're going to take off here? Awesome, Ian. Angelo's Bakery, that's coming up. I don't think I've never been to Angelo's Bakery, Corey. I don't think I've ever been to, er to Angelo's Bakery. Fairy Mary, welcome. Brave as a tiger, tiger sugar. And it's like the boba tea in there. It smells good. Yeah, Darlene, it's pretty nice. I mean, it's a nice shopping district, Darlene. I mean, definitely a lot of cool stuff. A lot of little hole-in-the-wall restaurants that you never know what you're going to find. Oh, yes. That's the fun part. I have to say that's, that is the, the best part about living in Brooklyn is you have all these little restaurants. Got a CVS and a Tesso across the street. And this Burger King has been here for as long as I can remember. <coughs> Liz out there in the UK, welcome. Angelo's was awesome. coming up. 86 Street is, is very diverse. Exactly, Jim. Bay Parkway coming up. And Bay Parkway subway station used in the movie The Little Fugitive. The movie The Little Fugitive. 
a movie where a little boy thinks he kills his brother. He hops on the train right here at, at Bay Parkway in that movie. But here's Bay Parkway. A great restaurant across the way, Istanbul. This is Bay Parkway. Right here. Your friend used to race her car down 86th Street. Did she go cruising? Did she go cruising back in the day? Helen G, good to see you. Do you feel my presence, Jim? Good to see you, Jim. <laughs> this street feels human. It is a human-sized street, yes. How far away is this from Peter Luger's? Very far away. Peter Luger's is practically on the other side of Brooklyn from here, Judy. We're in southern Brooklyn right now on 86th Street. Peter Luger's is in Williamsburg, all the way up near the Williamsburg Bridge. About, probably about what, six, seven miles from here. Six, seven miles to the north from here. So Brooklyn is a big place. 2.7 million people live in Brooklyn. If Brooklyn was a city by itself, we will be the fourth largest city in the United States, just behind Chicago. We are still the most populous borough, but Queens, Queens is quickly catching up. And I will dare say that Queens is probably, probably on par with Brooklyn in population. Little Fugitive Jeanette Trainer, a great movie. Got a lot of fruit markets now across the way. Ooh, I see a Pokemon. I see a Pokemon uh, towel up there. Gotta get, I gotta get the Duchess of Pokemon towel. <laughs> Joyce, good to see you. I'm glad you're enjoying the videos. We're in the heart of Southern Brooklyn, 86th Street, as we get ready to cross Bay 31st Street. We see all the little Chinese markets here. And Neville 6000 with a $10 Canadian Super Chat. Neville, thank you so much for the very generous $10 Canadian. Thanks for joining today's $5 Canadian Club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $10 Super Chat, Canadian style. Neville, you're more than welcome for showing you a different side of the city. I love showing different sides of the city. Lots of interesting places to eat and explore here along 86th Street. There you go, the Queen's population, 2.4 million. So it's getting there. 2.7 million is Brooklyn, 2.4 million is Queens. So we're getting there. We're getting there. <coughs> Thank you so much there, Jim. Bay 32nd Street. And I love that, again, we got so, so much variety down here. An Uzbekistani store is across the street from here. Halal meat and tandoori. Look at that. Wow. And then right next door to that is a really good Mexican bakery. <laughs> then we got the Citizen Bank coming up on 23rd Avenue. Got a lot of diversity here. Just so nice. Did I just pass the Empress Deli? <laughs> uh, Oleg right now is that, that's the current population, Oleg. You know, I, I, I've heard of the Dungaree Factory, Bat Lady, but I don't actually remember it. I've heard of it though. I've heard of the Dungaree Factory many times. Keep on hitting that like button. If we could get to 300 likes, that will be fantastic. Good to see you, Christine, welcome. So now we're still following the car chase scene in the French Connection movie. We're still walking along it. That goes all the way down to Bay 50th Street. Ah, uh, there used to be a couple of comic book stores around here. I don't know about now. Okay, 
That was back in the 60s, yeah. Yeah, that was back in the 60s, the Dungaree Factory. But yeah, I think there used to be a couple of comic book stores down here. But not, I don't think there's any more. I don't think there's any more any proper comic book stores down here. We've lost those too, like the, like, like the diners. We've lost really good comic book stores. Here's the People's Bakery coming up. Well, we started in Bay Ridge on 3rd Avenue and what was that, 89th Street. We started at Panina, uh, Panini Rustico in Bay Ridge. And we have been on 86th Street since 3rd Avenue. And we're going all the way down, all the way down on 86th Street today. Coming up to 24th Avenue now. Coming up to an old, once again, an old movie theater, which is now the, the Dolphin Gym. And Major's Minis with a $5 Super Chat. Jack, thank you so much for the very generous $5 Super Chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 Club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $5 Super Chat. I'm glad you're enjoying the tour there, Jack. Good to see you, my friend, and thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream. Everyone check out Majors underscores Mini over there on Instagram. Jack is a fantastic artist from right here in Southern Brooklyn. Okay, so there are a handful of comic book stores in Southern Brooklyn. Still around. Any hobby shops locomotion asks. Good to see you there. I don't know if there's any hobby shops per se. The only hobby shop that I know of is Train World up on McDonald Avenue. <coughs> Those are the only um, hobby shops that I know of. It has certainly changed a lot. Now, when I was a kid, my godfather used to take me to this McDonald's right here. Some of the earliest memories of my life are at the McDonald's across the street here. And this, this firehouse has always stayed the same. Let's take a look at this firehouse here. This really cool architecture. But I can remember hanging out in the play place of this McDonald's. One of my earliest memories is at this McDonald's, the old, the little tin ashtrays. I could, I, could, I could see them. And it was right here. And then look at this firehouse here. Just such cool architecture. You calling it South Brooklyn, so bro now? <laughs> look at this, it's 1896. Bensonhurst Bravis. Just look at that architecture. I mean, I, just so cool. That firehouse is just so cool looking. And it has literally, that has never changed. Ken Junge celebrating 11 months of membership to Dutch Moss Plus. Ken, thank you so much for being a member of Dutch Moss Plus for almost a year. Much appreciated to you and all the channel members. Thank you so much for having faith in me as a content creator. And thank you so much to everyone who is gifting memberships. Much, much, much appreciated. What a beautiful building, right? Ooh, look. That's my scooter. <laughs> There's my illegal Chinese scooter. Yay. Well, that's what I look like. That's what I look like riding that thing. What was my favorite Happy Meal toy? Uh, they had the Lego Happy Meal toys. Used to love those. I mean, it's not that loud, Dennis. It's just a, it's just an elevated train. 
But, it, you know, if you come from the suburbs and, you know, Dave and Buster's is the biggest, awesomest place around, then this is not, this is not the neighborhood for you. Um, but it is loud. It's supposed to be loud. It's New York. Sean, thank you so much for being a member of the channel for the last 10 months. And Deborah with a $10 super chat. Deborah, thank you so much for sponsoring today's live stream with a big $10 super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's $5 club two times today. Much, much, much appreciated with a big $10 super chat. Thank you so much, Deborah. Much, much, much appreciated. <coughs> and Ramona, thank you so much for 26 months of membership of Dutch Moss Plus. Much appreciated. We're coming to the uh, part where the train is going to turn down Stillwell Avenue. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to stay on 86th Street. And we're going to take this all the way down to, to Shell Road. And as the name suggests, Shell Road used to be paved in shells. That was the first road that took you into Coney Island. Thank you so much, here, Brian Davis. If I didn't say hello, good to see you. Still got a little bit of a cough. Still got a little bit of a cough rocking. And yes, we're not going to stop at Simone Gardens for a square. I just ate. I'm walking off my, uh, my chicken parmesan with ziti I had for lunch. But yeah, New York is very walkable, Dindin. Bill Thomas, good to see you. But now the train here is going to turn. And yes, Joyce, yeah, uh, back in the, 18, it was the 1830s, the road was paved with shells. Metalhead Warriors celebrating 26 months of membership of Dutch Moz Plus. Ah, awesome. Well, speedy recovery there, Mr. Metalhead. Speedy recovery. Hopefully, hopefully your shoulder heals up well. Too bad we can't go into the yard. I know. I would love to show everyone the rail yard at Stillwell. Across the street, John's Deli. One of the best delis in the whole city. John's Deli, a fantastic spot to eat. And now in the movie uh, French Connection, this is where the car turns right here. He follows the train underneath here. And the beginning of the car chase scene happens down there. This is Stillwell Avenue. This, this will take us straight into Coney. We're not going to go into Coney just yet. Because we're going to stay on 86th Street. But now that's going down into Coney. And we're now officially in Gravesend. But yeah, Joyce, it's really cool history. When you think about Coney Island and whatnot. But we're gonna stay on 86th Street. We're gonna stay on 86th Street until we get to Shell Road and then we'll, we'll walk the Shell Road into Coney. So I wanna show you I want to show you guys the uh, LMB Spumoni Gardens. Do so you miss the White Castle? Everyone's talking about the White Castle where Petco, where Petco is. <laughs> yeah. I vaguely remember. I vaguely remember that White Castle. Vaguely remember it. Get your car inspected there. Nice. <laughs> All right, so now it should get quiet again now because, you know, there's no more train overhead. Keep on hitting that like button. Let's get to 300 likes. 
We are now not that far from the Marlboro houses. And coming up is Avenue U. So Welcome Back Cotter takes place in Bensonhurst at, at New Utrecht High School, but it was filmed in Los Angeles. This is Avenue U. If we hang a left on Avenue U, that will take us straight into the original town of Gravesend that Lady Deborah Moody founded in the 1650s. That will be right up in this direction here. Mr. B got shot. There you go. I see you. And yep, used to hang out there for the relief point for the B1 bus. There you go. Yep, here's another B1. Oh, there's a B4. Before there was the B4. The B4 bus, that is. But now the Marlboro houses just down the way over here. When I was a kid, this part of 86th Street felt like a million miles away. I remember when my godfather used to take me to McDonald's and L&B in his big yellow Cadillac. Um, it just felt like so far away. Good to see him, you're in a welcome. Yeah. Just past the old Bell Telephone building, which is still, I think, a phone building. I think it's still a telephone exchange, if I'm not mistaken. But it's hard to imagine we are still on 86th Street. We are still on it. Coming up to one of the most famous, popular pizza places in all of the city of New York, Ellen B. Spumoni Garden. In my humble opinion, Ellen B. Spumoni Garden, the best square slice, Sicilian slice in New York City. They put the sauce on top of the cheese here at L&B. And it's been here for over 80 years. And it literally, nothing has changed. Nothing has changed about it. Nothing has changed here at L&B. And our friend Jack of Majors Minis, he did a miniature of L&B Spumoni Gardens. And here it is. Yeah, Triple G, we passed it already. We passed the McDonald's on 24th, uh, 24th Avenue. We're now passing L&B. We'll have another square here in the future. Good to see you, Diane, out there in the United Kingdom. <clears throat> but yeah, Jack, you did a beautiful miniature of L&B Spumoni Gardens. Yep, they put the sauce on top of the cheese. It's really good. So now you see the Marlboro houses coming into view. And this has, for as long as I could remember, this has always been a used car lot. But I remember coming all the way out here as a kid and it felt like it was so, it felt so far away from Bay Ridge. And here I am walking it as an adult. Avenue V. We're crossing now. John Law ran to Woody Harrelson at L&B. He used to play basketball in the park up the street with a friend. What? That's wild. That's wild and awesome and cool. That is wild. Ooh, Aardvark Amusements. This is where they have those little, those little amusement rides you see at, at, at uh, feasts and parties and stuff in the street. Little kiddie rides, little trans, 
have little transportable kitty rides. Aardvark amusements. West 9th Street and Garibaldi Square we're walking past right now. Wow, look at the signage on this dental, professional dental building here. That's vintage. Wow, a couple of buses were stolen from here. I could see that because this is got the Marlboro projects right here. Got to keep my head a little bit on a swivel for the next few blocks. It's fine. It's the middle of the day. We should be fine. Wow, I'm making good time though. Making good time. All right. Coming up to West 8th Street, we're going to cross over the N train. That's what's coming up next. Good to see you, Terry Allen, out there in Monsoonal Carnes. Stay dry down there in Carnes. You're more than welcome, Mr. Viking. Get some sleep. Have a pint for me. Be fantastic. Yeah, I'm good. I know. But now we have the entrance to the Stillwell Avenue, uh, the Coney Islands train yard. It's right down over here. <coughs> And now we're going to walk over the N train. This is the 86th Street N train station. Right here. Whenever the N is running a shuttle bus service, I'm usually at this station here. Yeah, back in the day, it was, it, it still is to a certain extent pretty rough in the Marlboro projects but then once you get over in this direction here you're back in old school Italian neighborhood because now we're going to come up uh, 86 Street's going to terminate into Avenue X good to see you coaster kid welcome and then we're going to be walking underneath the F train coming up, coming up next. Are you working on Panini Rustico? <laughs> we started at Panini Rustico in Bay Ridge. Which one you're doing there, Jack? <laughs> Are you doing Panini Rustico on 17th Avenue, 3rd Avenue, or the one out in the Rockaways? <laughs> The Duchess knows the owner of Panini Rustico, uh, Lewis. He's a nice guy. He always, he always, he always takes care of us whenever we see him in there. So he's so nice. Lewis is such a great guy, and I. Yes, indeed, bike Mike. We're going to be walking on the other side of the tracks, Avenue W. We are crossing now. And I don't know why, this stretch of, the, of 86th Street to me has never changed. We're doing 17th Avenue right now. Okay, awesome. Yes, if you haven't been to Panini Rustico, <coughs> I highly recommend it. They got great paninis there. They have great, hey, 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 hey. They have great, uh, it's like a dog or something like that going woof, woof, woof. Um, <laughs> anyway. They think I'm on TikTok. Um, if you haven't been to Penny Rustico, let me wait for this guy. He's going nice and fast. Um, great, great smoothies, great paninis, uh, killer, killer coffee. I mean, if you like espresso, they always have really good espresso in Panini Rustico. And the Duchess, she knows the owner, 
of Panini Roost to go. So whenever he's around, we don't got to pay, which is cool, but I'd rather pay because I love the food. So if you're here in Southern Brooklyn, you got to go to Panini Roost to go. They have three locations, 17th Avenue, 17th Avenue and what, 84th Street, 83rd Street, something like that. 17th Avenue, where we began our live stream today in Bay Ridge, 89th Street and 3rd Avenue. And then they have a new one over on Beach 126th Street in Bell Harbor in uh, the Rockaways. So check them out. That is a Duchess and Dutch Ma's recommendation. Good to see you, Kirk. Good afternoon. I'm going to probably get a coffee when I, I'm going to probably make myself a coffee when I get home. I'll make myself a nice strong Bustello. But look at this, ladies and gentlemen. We are coming to the end of 86th Street. Good to see you. Uh, Michael Juniper out there in the United Kingdom. Cheers. Cheers. Good to see you. I'm glad you're enjoying today's walk down 86th Street. Take some notes, Karen. I never steal you. I never steal you wrong. I know I said espresso, so now Nebul woke up. <laughs> Pinkies up. Pinkies up. So now we have another elevated train structure. This is the F train. And we're going to be walking underneath the F train. This area of 86th Street, again, has literally never changed. Vincent has Panini, Panino Rustigo every week. That's a good thing, Vincent. Good to see you. I, I, I'll take the P50. <laughs> That's what I usually order. 86th Street's a very long street. But this, this is where 86th Street concludes. So we're coming up to McDonald Avenue. If we go straight, we will go on to Avenue X. We're not going to do Avenue X because we're going to go down Shell Road, which is down here. So this is where McDonald Avenue, I think they, Shell Road and McDonald Avenue is both the same thing because it all, it all goes down here. So we're going to walk along the, uh, we're going to walk along the, the Coney Island rail yard now, but this is the end of 86th Street right here. We're going to go down Shell Road, right across the street, the Russian Club. The Russian Club is across the street, the Russian Clubs. All the ladies of the night, they hang at the Russian Club. <laughs> when I was delivering bread for a minute, we would deliver bread to the place next door. To the, there used to be an OTB down the block. And then one of my friends, old school Italians, used to live right down there. There's a really good bakery also down there, Nuncio's Bakery. Right down there. This is old school Brooklyn down there, Avenue X. But the Russian club is right across the street. And we used to see the ladies of the night at the Russian club. Good to see you, Jerry. Am I going to walk by the privacy wall next to Coney Island? Uh, there's a privacy wall next to Coney? Maybe. I don't know. We're going to walk down Shell Road now. We're walking down Shell Road. And we're now underneath the F train. This. Ooh, Subway Family Days, everyone. Look at this building here. So cool. Look at the entrance to the Coney Island Rail Yard. Right here. Where's Jennifer Lopez? Uh, that's a question you're going to have to ask Google for. I don't know. You love Rasputin on Coney Island Avenue. There you go. Yeah, the Cuccio's Avenue X. Cuccio's a great, great bakery. Still around. So now we're walking along Shell Road. You're more than welcome, Edgar. 
I used to take the bus operators for drug tests at the Cody Allen Yard. There you go. Oh, some nice Ukrainian ladies. Yes. A bull and the Ukrainian ladies. Very nice. Exactly. J Lo is from the Bronx, not Brooklyn. J Lo is from the Bronx. Yeah, taking bakery nuts. <laughs> so uh, I wish we could see inside. So we just passed the Avenue X F train station. We're now walking underneath the F. I believe the next station is going to be uh, Neptune Avenue. And we're going to stay on Shell Road, so I think we're going to leave. We're going to leave the F train. But we're on Shell Road right now. Shell Road. As the name suggests, when Coney was getting connected to the rest of Brooklyn, this was the first road into Coney Island. Wish you could get back there with your camera. Me too, John. <laughs> Probably take some awesome pictures. So no, this is not Brighton Beach. This is Coney. This will be Coney Island. We're tech. We're still in Gravesend right now. We're still in Gravesend. We haven't crossed over the Coney Island Creek yet, which is not really much of a creek at this point because we're so far east. Coney Island Creek is pretty much just in a, in a storm drain underneath the street. Oh, really? They call this the privacy wall? Well, this is, this is for the, the rail yard right here. So... Indeed, Coaster Kid. F train, a great route from from uh, Park Slope to Coney Island. We're actually coming up to the spot where the F train recently derailed. Uh, right at Neptune Avenue, the F train had a major derailment. A couple of cars came completely off the tracks. Used to stink really bad back in the day. Yes, it used to. Luckily, they, there's enough, there's enough, uh, you know, the storm drain doesn't get as backed up as it used to. But I, I can remember the Coney Island Creek smelling back in the day. They have some interesting condominiums across the street. As we come up to Avenue Z, look, this is the Coney Island Rail Yard. Right here, the large, I believe this is the largest rail yard in North America for, for mass transit. And you see these big gates here? These are flood protection barriers right here. So this whole thing could be closed off in case we have uh, flooding. During Hurricane Sandy, there was about four, four feet of water right here. This flooded pretty bad. So... Diane Keaton and Annie Hall, she drives underneath the Verrazano Narrows Bridge on the way to Coney Island. So that's back in Bay Ridge. Yeah, did you hear about that derailment? <laughs> Once you smelled it, you never forgot it. That's right. So... Interesting developments around here. Big apartment buildings down the way. And then we have a athletic uh, facility across the street too. But the squares on the wall, this is just for decoration. This is just a, this is just a massive flood protection barrier here. Yeah, it's huge, Karen. I believe this is the largest mass transit rail yard in the nation or in, in North America. 
and you see we have these big, look at these big doors. These are brand new. They, they installed these within the last few years. It's a massive flood protection barrier right here. And then we, then we can see into the yard, into the Coney Island rail yard right there. There it is. Like I said, there was like three, four feet of water right here where I'm walking during Hurricane Sandy. And Lisa UK girl with a two pound super chat. Lisa UK girl, thank you so much for the very generous two pound super chat. Thank you so much for joining today's two pound club. Much, much, much appreciated with a big two pound super chat. You're more than welcome. Glad you're enjoying the walk. I'm glad you're enjoying this different side of Brooklyn. They can build a subway car from scratch inside this rail yard. I could see that. I could see that. But yeah, they could think these flood protection barriers could hold all that water back to keep the rail yard dry. The rail yard did flood quite extensively during Hurricane Sandy. And over the last few years, they have built <coughs> flood protection barriers all around the rail yard. So now we're coming up to a very interesting part because we are Still on Shell Road. This is Shore Parkway coming up. And we have the Belt Parkway coming up. And I'm gonna show you something very particular to this. So, yep, we're, we're still the trolley tracks are in the street still. Yeah, there are still some trolley tracks along here embedded in the street. But now this is the Belt Parkway. And the, this is where the Belt Parkway runs underneath the F train. And I want to see if I could, I want to see if I could, sh I, I want to see if I could show you guys this because this is a very particular section here. The train tracks were built in like the 19 teens. The highway was built in, what was it, like the, 19, the 1940s. So this, is, this, is the, this is the rail yard. But now we're passing underneath the highway. They had to, they had to alter, they had to alter the train tracks here. And they did it in a very particular way. This is the Coney Island Creek. So once we cross over this, we're officially in Coney Island. So this is the, this is where the Coney Island Creek literally comes into a storm drain. And then it's just a storm drain from this direction on. But here's the F train. In order to build the highway, they had, they have a wider I-beam here. But when you get over the highway, it's a singular beam. Look at how thin that is. They basically used thinner beams to cross the highway. So you have the original beam. This is the original beam right here. You see how, how, how much wider it is. And then look at how thin it is after the crossover beam. It gets really thin right there. So they basically, they had to get rid of the original structure. They couldn't, they couldn't leave the structure as wide as it is. So just when it goes over the highway, the six lanes of the highway, it gets very thin. How crazy is that? And then the train derailed, like right here, the other day. The train derailed right here. They weren't necessarily cutting corners, but they had really, no, they had really nowhere else to go. 
they had nowhere else to go, so they had to just like make it thin. It's just crazy. But now we're gonna continue along Shell Road because this becomes West 6th Street over there. We're gonna continue along Shell Road here. I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, it's been in operation for over 100 years, so. We're coming up to the Russian radio station. And yes, there was, a, there was a train derailment right here a few weeks ago. Maybe about what, two and a half months ago? There was a train derailment right there. But now we're still on Shell Road. And we're coming down now to, as you see, we're getting into some more, more dense residential development right across the street from some light industrial, like a school bus parking here and whatnot. But then we have this interesting office building right here. This is where Freedom FM broadcasts from. Freedom FM, Russian radio station, playing the best and Russian Ukrainian music, and Bel Belarus sometimes. We play all the music here. Freedom FM. It's right here. Who would have thought a radio station would be right here? But it is. Overlooking the rail yard. But now we're going to take Shell Road. I think Shell Road's going to turn into West 8th Street, if I'm not mistaken. New York Aquarium. Station, the station, Freedom FM. Da! And you can listen to Freedom FM. They do broadcast online. Da! There's the Coney Island Creek. Coney Island Creek and Freedom FM, beautiful together. Yes. That Russian was grilling me. He's like, who is this person here? Gatila. Some luxury. Oh my God, Russian lamb chops? Absolutely, those are good. So now we have some, look at this, a luxury apartment building right here. We're coming up to Neptune Avenue. And this is where Shell Road concludes. Back in the saddle again, Fawn Marie, good to see you. Back in the saddle again. Yes, indeed. Ah, Neptune Avenue. This is a Jaguar, a Jaguar parts and distributor right here. I'll be great on voiceovers. You know, eventually somebody's gonna hire me to do voiceovers, e-bike Mike. Eventually. One day somebody will hire me to do voiceover work. <clears throat> One day, you gotta hear my voice and be like, hey, I want to buy a Jaguar car. <laughs> All right. So this is where, where Shell Road becomes West 8th Street. This is the back end here. This is the back end. These are the Luna Park houses right here. And this is where the Probably one of the greatest amusement parks in Coney Island ever existed. The original Luna Park would have been right here. And this would have been the back end of it. So where this building is probably roughly would have been where the, the shoot the shoots, the log flume was. And then we have all this new construction down here. Another big apartment building going in. Got some stores over here, some small restaurants. There's a gym we got across in the Dollar Tree. And also the, the DMV is right down the block here that we're going to see in a little bit. And the DMV is in a very historic building. All 
right, crossing Neptune Avenue. And I live all the way down to the end of Neptune Avenue. That's where I live currently. I live way down the way over there. I'm not gonna live stream going all the way back to, uh, to Seagate today. But I live all the way down at the end of Neptune Avenue on the west end of Coney. Well, welcome to West 8th Street now. These are the Luna Park houses. And that F train has been in the station for quite some time. I wonder if there's anything going on with the F train. <laughs> the Wizards building? I don't know. I don't know. These are the Luna Park houses right here. It's where the Luna Park was, the original Luna Park was some 120 years ago. Get an idea how big that amusement park was. It was big. And now we're coming up to the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles is across the street. And the DMV is in the old Mangles factory. And oh, that's what you call the, that's what you call the wizard bill, the Mangles. So the Mangles was the Mangles family. They used to manufacture amusement rides. And the amusement rides were when you manufactured where the DMV is today. And if you go inside, when you go inside the DMV, you can still see some of the old some of the old remnants of, uh, of the old Mangles factory. Mangles a company manufactured carousels, the whip, amongst many, many other rides. And they were a mainstay here in Coney for many a year. Yeah, Breezy Point is a gated community, Deborah. Breezy Point is considered a cooperative neighborhood. Technically, Deborah, they are squatting on the land. Back in the 1950s, Robert Moses tried to clear them out when the ideas for the Gateway National Recreation Area started coming together. When that was established in the 70s, they were technically squatting on federal parkland which they still are today and they have to pay for everything so they have to pay for their fire department their police department they buy the water from the city of new york and technically the water the water line is the only thing that attaches them physically to the city of new york but yes i'm almost walking home i'm not going to walk all the way all the way home but I'm walking a good distance there. Yes, uh, some Mangles rides still run in Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Uh, we saw it the other day, the little uh, fire engine ride. That's a Mangles ride. Now we're coming up to engine 245 and ladder 161. And the 60th precinct is right here. So the Coney Island police and fire departments are right here. But yes, it's a very, Breezy Point's a very insular neighborhood. Yeah, I'm passing the 60th precinct, that's 61st, the 60th, 60th precinct. I live near the lighthouse, Karen. I live right near the lighthouse. I live like two minutes from the lighthouse. That's in Seagate. And again, unfortunately, I'm not allowed to live stream in Seagate because it is a gated community. So they do have, uh, they do have rules about filming in the street. But now we're about to walk underneath the F and Q trains. Q trains on the upper level, F trains on the lower level. 
This is the West 8th Street Coney Island New York Aquarium Station. Doing better, Irene. Irene, I'm doing a lot better. I was home all week. And I still am to a certain extent, still am a little bit sick to this day. But I'm doing, I'm doing much better. I'm doing much better. So now we're coming up to Surf Avenue. The old, the old shark bridge used to lead from right there. There used to be a big overpass bridge that Robert Moses built so nobody could go into the amusement district and you went straight into the aquarium. Look at that, there's a cyclone. There's the cyclone right there. Yeah, the MTA just did replace the tracks up there. They've been doing a lot of track replacement as of late. Captain Super, welcome. Let's walk through the, uh, let's walk right onto the boardwalk through the aquarium. But welcome to the amusement district here in Coney. To think in just a few weeks, everything's going to be opening up. All the rides are going to be running again and we'll be here on opening day. One of my favorite pieces of art in all of New York City is coming up as we enter the New York Aquarium. The aquarium, I believe, is open right now. I think it is. I think it is. There's people parking in the parking lot. But this is a piece of art that nobody wanted. <laughs> this is a piece of art that nobody wanted by Frank Stella, labeled simply K159. It was built in 2010. It's made of carbon fiber, polished, polished mirror aluminum, and it's a gift from Donald and Barbara Z Herber Zucker. <coughs> and as the story goes, they didn't want this thing. They didn't want it. They, did, they didn't know what to do with it. So they, they probably did it as a tax write-off. And they, and they donated it to the aquarium. And now the aquarium has it in their parking lot. Yeah, Frank Stella is a big deal. He's a big deal. This artist is a big deal. He does a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, this artist has one also in Battery Park City also. But they literally, they, they, nobody wanted it. Nobody wanted this. So thus, it's here. <laughs> Thing costs like $2 million or something like that. Something like stupid like that. Like a $2 million piece of art just hanging out here. And nobody wanted it. I have yet to see this thing lit up. But one of these days we'll see it lit up. It's cool. I mean, it looks cool. I don't know what it has to do with uh, aquatic stuff, but you know. CM, you're more than welcome, CM. It was great seeing Tony out on 86th Street. Yep, he has another one at, the, in, at MoMA. Yeah. But look, we're going to keep on going. And we're going to make our way out onto the boardwalk. How crazy was this? We walked from Bay Ridge all the way down 86th Street, all the way down Shell Road. And now we are here in the New York Aquarium, about to walk onto the boardwalk. Like a starfish, kind of like a starfish, yeah, Karen. You could say that. You like it? Yeah, Liz, it's kind of cool. I mean, it, it's kind of cool that nobody wanted it. But, you know, and it's in such a spot where nobody passes by unless you're like walking. <laughs> but this is the New York Aquarium. That's true, nobody wanted the Eiffel Tower in the beginning. That's true. But this is the New York Aquarium. Ooh, it was chilly down here. We've been walking with the wind for the most part. Wind's been coming out of the north today. So we have been walking with the wind today. Well, look at that, we made it all the way down. 
And now we're heading up onto the boardwalk. Here's the New York Aquarium entrance. Yeah, nobody wanted Liberty either, that's true. Had to pay for that, uh, had to pay for that pedestal. Yeah, nobody wanted the Twin Towers either, that's true. <laughs> The, what, what, what are the Twin Towers, the box that the Chrysler Building and the Empire State Building came in? <laughs> well, look at that. Walks in camera. Good to see you. Welcome. <laughs> nice coaster, kid. Look at that. Ta-da. We made it to the beach. <coughs> we have made it to the beach. How crazy is that? You can't say you didn't see a lot of Brooklyn today. You cannot say you saw you didn't see a good chunk of Brooklyn today. You really can't. We walked straight down 86th Street, and now we are here in Coney Island. Yeah, I need a trip to the aquarium. Yeah, me too, John. I can't live stream in the aquarium because of all the equipment they have in there, so it's next to impossible to get a, a signal inside of the aquarium because of all the equipment. And plus, you have to pay to get in there, so I don't have a ticket to go in there today. But I've tried to live stream with the help of the Coney Island Aquarium, with, with the help of the New York Aquarium. And uh, it was too much equipment. You, couldn't, you basically could only live stream in two small areas and that's it. CB Earth Day, you're more than welcome. Carmen Duke, we made it to the beach. Made it to Land's End from Bay Ridge. We walked all the way down 86th Street from Bay Ridge today. How crazy is that? And two, we made a good time too, two hours. The jellyfish tanks are amazing. Liz, do I make it look easy? It is easy if you pace yourself. Uh, Bat Lady, I think today we did about, about five miles. Did about five miles today. Yeah, went through about six neighborhoods. Right, is, is it six neighborhoods? Bay Ridge. <laughs> Dagger Heights, um, Bensonhurst, Gravesend, and then now Coney Island. So yeah, yeah five neighborhoods, let's say. Sunday was mobbed, yeah. Check my heart rate, my heart rate's doing good. <laughs> it was beautiful down here on Sunday. I was, I'm really happy I was able to show you guys the uh, the memorial for Flacco of what we did get to see of it anyway but it was an amazing walk today uh, it's gonna rain Sunday evening yeah Saturday evening yeah I'm working Saturday morning so I should have the morning but I don't know about Saturday afternoon and evening But well, we have made it to Coney Island. Here's the new Luna Park and Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. We were talking about Mangles rides, so let me show you the Mangles rides. Yeah, pretty nice walk today. We covered some ground. I mean, especially if you're following along on a map, you can tell how, how long we walked today. They're getting ready in Dino's Wonder Wheel Park. Did we hit 16K? Awesome. Thank you so much to everyone who, have, who has subscribed to the channel. Getting us finally to 16K. Opening day, March 24th. It'll be here before we even know it. And here's this little fire, fire truck ride. This is a Mangles ride right here. So this ride was manufactured right across the street at what is today the DMV. 
You know they're Mangles rides because they have a big red box, control box. So over there, it's another Mangles ride right over there. Were you following along on Google Maps, Karen? <laughs> yeah, we covered some ground today, kids. We covered some ground today. I am ready for opening day myself. You know what sucks? Opening day is the same day as the Bay Ridge St. Patrick's Day Parade. So unfortunately this year I will not be covering the Bay Ridge St. Patrick's Day Parade because we'll be here in Coney for opening day. So that kind of sucks. But we have our beautiful murals. So I'm not going to walk home. No, from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop in what's called a $3 cab. And I'm going to take a $3 cab back to Seagate. Good old rubies. A lot of water up on the, uh, up on the boardwalk today. Happy 7th of March, Shaman Zito. We'll go down to the pier. We'll keep it going here for a little bit longer. We'll keep it going a little bit longer here. And it's gonna be a great day, Coaster Kid. Get all these, running on all these rides again. It'll be fantastic. Yeah, I'm 15 minutes from uh, home. Well, no, I'm more than that, more than that. If I were to walk all the way down the boardwalk from t to my house, it'd take me about another half hour. I'm walking in the direction of my house, right down there. No, I don't, you don't gotta jump out at slow speed. No, they, they pull over and stop. I'll tell the driver to take me to Neptune and 37th. I go to the Neptune gate. And I'm not going to walk all the way home. All the rides. Look at that. The whole roof of the Sky Chaser blew off. More than welcome, Ken. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for tuning on in. Hopefully they'll put a new roof on the Sky Chaser. That thing blew off during the winter time. I know the B-74 is free, but it's too many humans on it, John Lohr. There's like a lot of humans on there. I'd rather, I'd rather, take, the, I'd rather take my little, my little cab. Good old Thunderbolts. I don't know if we're going to get a sunset. I don't think we're going to get a sunset. I thought we were. I thought we were going to get a sunset. I don't think we are. I don't see enough clearing at the, ho at the horizon. I'll see you later, Carmen Duke. Have a great afternoon. Thanks for tuning on in. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get a sunset. I do not think we're going to get one. Yeah, a little bit too cloudy. I was hoping for like a little break right at the horizon. Moment of silence for Lola Star. Lola Star got to got to sell stuff rent free for like two and a half years. So I think she did fine there, Jack. Lola Star was here in Coney for like two years rent free. So I think she did okay. 
Again, opening day for the rides is going to be the 24th of March. So, less than, was that there? Less than 20 days. Less than 20 days. Everything will open up again. Yeah, she had free rent. She was in litigation with Luna Park for like two years and she didn't pay rent during that time. Don't you love that parachute jump? Steve Chase parachute jump. 285 feet tall, a relic from the 1939, 1940 World's Fair. What's my favorite ride? The Cyclone is my favorite ride with the Coney Island Thunderbolt a close second. But I do love that Coney Island Phoenix. Even though the Phoenix could sometimes make, make you really dizzy. If it hits just right, that Phoenix could really throw you off. But now we're making our way out onto the pier. Yeah, her dog ate a roach. Yeah, that was like a plant story. That story was a plant. <laughs> it was just for her to give a shout out to her store, the Empire Outlets, which is no longer there. I think she got free rent there too, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> We've made it to land's end. We've made it to the ocean. I would give anything to ride the original Thunderbolt. Look at that, we have made it. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of sand up here. The wind brings all the sand up all here on the, on the, on the pier. Yeah, the outlets are a ghost town. Yeah, you miss that pier. Got a couple of good photos here when he was here. Nice. It ain't going anywhere, Deb. It ain't going anywhere. We've made it to lands and... Okay, I got an NYC ferry. Coming up from the Rockaways. You can't say you didn't see a good chunk of Brooklyn today on the live stream. You can't say that today. You really can't. You can't say that. You can't say that you didn't see a good chunk of Brooklyn today. No swimmers today, nope. Remo Williams, a great movie. Enjoy it there, John. Yeah, great movie. Don't you love those ocean waves? You'll be back in August. Nice. Oh, when it's hot. <laughs> when I think of August, I think of it being really hot. <laughs> All right, let's head back over to Stillwell Avenue. It was a fun one today. Glad you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for everyone who super chatted. Much appreciated. We did walk a pretty good distance today, Bat Lady. Yes, we did. Walked a pretty good distance today. You'll be back in June and regretting it. <laughs> Little crow, you got it, all right. <laughs> Ooh, it's windy. Ooh, it's windy. Well, just to think, in a few weeks, 
we'll be here for fireworks Fridays again and oh, it'll be summer all over again and it's gonna pass by in a blur faster than we, we could even think mermaid parade we'll be back it's gonna be beautiful June is a great month yes indeed I'm gonna sleep great tonight I'm gonna sleep fantastic Want to do the mermaid parade one year? It's one of the best things you could do. Mermaid parade's a lot of fun. It'll be here before we even know it. It'll be here before we even know it. It'll be mermaid parade Saturday. But you can't say you didn't see a good chunk of Brooklyn today. Thunderbolts. It is going by fast. Everything's gonna be in a blur. Watch. It's, it's all gonna it's all gonna be a blur. <laughs> it's gonna be just a big blur. It's already getting there. Once uh, the 24th gets here. I'm looking forward to Fireworks Fridays, too. That's when we really build a lot of subscribers on the channel, because it's like a weekly thing that people can tune into. Does anyone know if Tortilla Flats is open on West 12th, about a block from Washington? We have a Washington Street here in Coney? <laughs> I don't know, dear little crow. Yeah, then slow down then. Well, you can't slow it down. When you're having a good time, time flies when you're having fun. Son used to go to the Mermaid Parade. And he would bring his, oh, he would bring his Back to the Future car, a Bat Lady. I probably have that on, on my live stream. If you go digging around my Fireworks Friday videos, there was a Back to the Future car showing in the parking lot at Bay Parkway. And we have a little bit of footage of that. Ah, well, there you go. Oh, is that a place in Manhattan? Yeah, that has nothing to do with the stream. <laughs> All right, back on to Stillwell Avenue. Was that him, Bat Lady? Awesome. Yeah, I got that car a few times on the stream, on the live stream and on the videos. Even before live streaming, I got that on the videotape. The quiet and death. Okay, not so quiet. Are you exhausted, John? I'm the one who did all the walking. Reading all these nonsensical comments. <laughs> oh, here's the soaring eagle. The most painful roller coaster I have ever ridden. Did he build it himself there, Bat Lady? Awesome. Yeah, I've seen that car a few times. 
And yes, if you have any random questions, that's for Google. Always remember that, kids. Now we are back onto Stillwell Avenue. Where it's cold. <laughs> where it is cold. I'm going to go over to Nathan's to use the restroom. So we'll walk over to Nathan's, show you some of these murals here. The Coney Island art walls right here. This will be humming with activity soon. Nathan's is open year round. Nathan's is open year round. Give it a few. Give it a few weeks, and there'll be a ton of people. There'll be a ton of people down here, and we'll all be having some Coney Island fun once again. But I think here at the Art Walls, we're gonna call it an afternoon and a live stream. Ladies and gentlemen, did you like this nonsense? Make sure to subscribe to the Dutch Moz Family Networks here on YouTube and on Instagram, all same name at Dutch Moz. Make sure you hit the notification bell because I never know when I'm going to go live next. If you like today's video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It'll help me tremendously and the algorithm will help more people find future broadcasts. But from Coney Island here in Southern Brooklyn, this is Dutch Moss signing off. Have a fantastic Coney Island day, whether you live here or not. Hug your loved ones, cherish those moments. And good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Mrs. Calabash, wherever you are. I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Take care, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.